Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. So, uh, second time, the reason it's already poured out is second time I'm doing this. So, uh, someone came to the front door. So, Stray Cat Brewing uh, is today's beer. And it's a milk, it's called milk, it's a milk stout. 4%, 4% rather, ABV. Stray Cat, produced by Limestone Brewery, by Sarah Bedford. Under the pen name of Stray Cat Brewing, so it's the next generation of the Bradford family to take on a brewing role. Um, next generation, rather. <clears throat> it's a dad, Bradders, who's the who's the brewer now. So ingredients, it says the indulgent inky blackness. This award-winning milk stout is now available in bottle for the first time. Maris Otter Pale Ale Malt. Crystal malt and roast barley alongside lactose sweetness, sweetness rather, gently infused with Nelson Savinops, one of Sarah Bradford's second dynasty portfolio. So great to see uh, ladies getting into the business. You know, today's um, brewing industry is a hell of a lot more diverse than it used to be. And uh, I only know that because of the um the likes of brewster's brewery which is an award-winning female brewer and you know there's a look across the country at breweries up and down the country wildcard brewery you know another one you know just just one out of very very many breweries um and you know it's great to see you know it's like every industry there's people if you're good at something you deserve to be there so the poor there you go it's a black paw with a white head and uh, let's dive in <sighs> quite a nice malt, uh, malty nose on this which you'd expect anyway <sighs> I thought it's got a bit of licorice and coffee licorice and coffee on the nose there anyway mouth salivating let's get on with the review Ooh. Lovely flavourful beer. I've just had a look at um on the internet and uh the good lady who made this was an interview back in 2017. Five minutes with the founder of Stray Cat Beer. Sarah Bradford and uh, getting to know her own business better. So that's at the Stoke Sentinel online. So you can check that out if you're interested. Uh, Stray Cat Lager obviously is the, one of the newest ones. So it's good to see that, you know, um, companies, a lot of breweries are going down the lager route and a lot are making some good lagers as well, which certainly... Uh, Better than some of the stuff you get in super um, in pubs. Some of the macro stuff. Oh, so really flavourful. Got a good poke to it on the flavour. Um, hints of chocolate. Certainly coffee, like I said. Um, I thought I got a touch of licorice, but that seems to have dissipated creaminess um i presume there's lactose in this or something that makes it feel creamy anyway at least um and it's going down well for me good modern traditional milk stout from stone if you know where limestone brewery is based St limestone brewery is based in staffordshire in the i think it's a town of stone i don't think it's a city too big too small for that and in, in the brewery and uh i've been in in the pub across the road the brewery is on one side i think anyway if i remember rightly and the pub's the other and it used to be a big brewery but the looks of things or there was a, on that site a big brewery um like most breweries now you know you don't need for the most part you don't need mega sized breweries to produce um I suppose only those that are, you know are doing ridiculous amounts and even these days with the tanks these days that they've got even the breweries that are really doing well have got it to the stage where it's condensed down so much 
that they're not having to, you know, have, have mega breweries. Yeah, yeah, I suppose that's a great thing. I mean, near us, uh, Castle Rock Brewery is the biggest. And when you actually look at the brewery inside, it's not that big a brewery. It's, it's a big brewery, but it, unlike the days where Shipston's uh, and O'Mails, which, which is literally that way for me, Shipston's that way, and they were colossal breweries. Hardy Nansen's also was a colossal brewery. Uh, the amount of space they took up, it's sad to see that's three breweries. Um, Shipston's is back in a micro form. But sadly, the others are done, dusted, never to reappear. You know, most likely. Although there was a home ales microbrewery a couple of years ago, two or three years ago before COVID, but that seems to have died a death. I've not seen anything uh, from that for a long, long time. I assume that they bought it out and then just packed it in. So, yeah, it's good to see that the... Uh, Daughter's taking in her dad's footsteps, and what a great, you know, what a great industry to get in. You know, if you can get in the door, learn. Um, obviously, for me, Limestone Brewery is, without a shadow of a doubt, more of a traditional, modern traditional brewery than what you would say is a craft brewery. Uh, will they go down that road in the future? Who knows? You know, breweries are. Uh, there's still a lot of modern, traditional um, beers that sell just as many, as much as the uh, these craft beers, especially in cask pubs. So, you know, good cask beer can come from modern, traditional, not craft beer. Uh, you don't see a mass, well, I don't see locally, that much of a, a massive amount of cask beer from craft beer brewers. Uh, it's getting more because they're coming back into it, although the prices have got to come down to put themselves in a bracket where they're um, competitive against the the more modern traditional breweries. So, um, very flavourful milk stout. Um, like I say, You've heard what I said about it. I thoroughly enjoyed the sire. And, uh, blimey. <clears throat> For me, a good 4.3 out of 5. And, uh, yeah, hope to see more in the future. Uh, it's good to see uh, Limestone Brewery, you know, having this stray cat brewing under theirs as well. And uh, interesting to see where it progresses um, in the future. Thank you for watching. See you soon.